So empowerment. You're a businessman here, you need empowerment. We have agreed through the sessions before now that the value of empowerment, and let me say this, the value of empowerment is when it comes upon a transformed mind. In the name of Jesus. You see that? Now, for many people, and the mistake we make many times in the body of Christ is because we have seen through experience, through the lives of great people, that when people are empowered, they immediately begin to walk in the realm of exploits. But what people do not know is that the ratio of empowerment to transformation based on Jesus' teaching model was three and a half years to one day. Stay back. Are we together? Stay that it took three and a half years of structured mentorship to build a certain belief and understanding in them. Then they were empowered one night. Pursuing empowerment without transformation will make you lose the potency of what that empowerment should bring. The problem with the woman, remember we taught yesterday, the woman who had the oil, the problem was not the oil. The oil could increase to any size as the vessel allowed. And so the prophet said, borrow not a few. You don't need to borrow oil, but borrow vessels. Expand your capacity. And the Bible says, when there was no more vessel, that the oil stayed. The word of the Lord is about the so it is important to understand the principles of leadership, branding, productivity, administration, and so on and so forth. And then from the strength, from that vantage position, in spite of the fact that you have understanding, Proverbs chapter 3 from 5 to 7, it says, in all your acknowledge him. Huh? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and he says to lean not. It acknowledges the fact that you have understanding, but he says do not lean on your understanding.